the previous video still valid because the previous video did not make consideration about the pentahydrate. Therefore, in continuation of exposing the possible question that might come out in uh, work practical, that is why I go further to look into uh, considering pentahydrate. Thank you, Abdurazil, for observing that we should also consider the pentahydrate. That is why I am bringing up this question here. A is a solution obtained by dissolving 25.4 gram of impure sample of iodine in aqueous potassium iodide and the solution made up to 1 dm cube. B is a solution containing 12.4 gram per 500 centimeter cube of sodium to sulfate pentahydrate. Put A into the burret and titrate it against 20 or 25 centimeter cube portion of B. Use that solution as the indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant titer values. Tablet your results and calculate the average volume of A used. Mind you, some speculations are bringing up it's possible that they may ask us to use B in the position of A. It is possible. And I'm going to tell you what the value would be if they ask us to use B for the bullet. But I still believe that they won't. They are still going to follow this. But if it happens to be that, I will show you what to do in this video. I will just tell you what to do. Uh, let's continue with the question. They say, tablet your results and calculate the average volume of A used. That means that here we are going to go with the table. We are going to go with the table. So, uh, the next question there is, the equation of the reaction is I2 plus 2S2O3 2 minus tends to give us 2I minus plus S4O6. Okay, B, from your results and the information provided, calculate the concentration of B in more per dm cube, concentration of I in A in mole per dm cube, percentage by mass of iodine in the sample. They asked to give reasons why the starch indicator was not added to the solution mixture at the beginning of the titration. Okay, let's first of all go with the tabulation of the table. Okay. okay. I wish you have watched my video on my titration, okay? If you have watched it, you, you are going to see the values I got from there. Okay, we go with giving tables out. From my work, what I have is, if you notice, I inserted my centimeter cube and I make sure that I use two decimal places in all of them. I can use this centimeter cube here or here, but I'm using it up here. So, you need to know that sometimes uh, work do provide that in for us now for us to calculate the average volume i am looking for the value that is very very close to each other that the differences is not more than 0 0.2 if you look at this value this is 8 and 3 is 0 0.5 therefore these two cannot work if you look at this value this and this cannot work but this and this can work so i'm going to make use of only this and this to go for my average title that i'm using first and second title for this. Therefore, my average volume becomes therefore our VA is 43.20. Okay? Let's go for the equation. We will have this is the A, this is the B. So we have this two is this two here. The, this since there is no value here, we take it as one. That is this one here. Therefore, the ratio of A is to B is one is to two. That is acid to base a ratio is 1 is to 2 and this gives us the uh, number of moles Na to be 1 Nb to be 2 now is to go for the question Bi they say we are to calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube concentration of B in mole per dm cube you have to note that Mass concentration is equal to mass in gram all over volume in dm cube. They get Remember that 12.4 gram was dissolved in 500 centimeter cube of this. Therefore, we're going to treat 12.4 gram all over 0 0.5. So we will have 0 0.50 is gotten from 500 divided by 1000. That is converting the centimeter to 
decimeter. That is how I got that. Therefore, if you check the value, the answer gives us. So we can go for the molar concentration. Here we know that molar concentration has a relationship with mass concentration and molar mass as we know the mass concentration we need to look for molar mass of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate the first one i did was sodium thiosulfate but this one is sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate therefore we need to include all the values that are there we go 5 times 18 this 18 is gotten from 2 of hydrogen and 16 of oxygen so 5 times 18 gives us 90 so if we join this thing together we're going to have 248 gram per mole so from that we go for molar concentration is going to give us this is giving us 0 0.1 mole per dm cube that is the two so far that is present in that is going to be 0 0.1 mole in the previous work i did i ignore the pentahydrates that I had 0 0.157 now currently including the pentahydrates I'm having 0 0.100 and you know it is the sodium to sulfate that's going to react with the iodine therefore this I take to be the best uh, question for the titration that you are about to uh, engage yourself as exam in YEC okay we go we know Na, we know Nb, we know uh, concentration of the solution B, we know the volume of A, we know the volume of B. So the only thing we don't know here is uh, Ca, that is the concentration of A in mole per dm cube. So we have making use of CAV, ACB, VB, Na all over Nb. We will have making Ca the subject formula. This climbs up. Dividing both sides by VA and NB so that CA will stand alone. We will have, you know, this will cancel this, this will cancel this. So we have only CA standing. We have, in certain these values, we will have our CA becomes, by approximation to three significant figure, we have. Okay? Let's go for concentration of A in gram per dm cube. When we know that CA is 0. 0289 and our m and that the molecular mass is 254 we insert making the mass concentration the subject formula we will have to three significant figure this value becomes therefore this is the concentration of the pure sample of iodine in the work therefore let's go for the percentage purity from this since we have already gotten this, which is this value here, and we also know this one, and know this, that we go direct to get our answer to be. The answer is 28.9% pure. And if you look at this work, if we are to compare it with the first work we did, I have about 45%. That was because I ignored the pentahydrate. But this time around, uh, the pentahydrate is being considered based on the suggestion made by Abdurazi, one of the viewer. Thank you for putting up this idea. It made my day when I heard that from you and I checked it that we should also consider that, which is possibly what they're going to give us in exam. Therefore, I want to bring in something back again for us. Remember in the previous that I said that I had up to 45% dissolve. According to this, if we are including the pentahydrate that are actually used in the preparation of this work the percentage that dissolved was 28.9 percent that was actually the percent not that 45 percent uh, the least that can dissolve is 18 percent as i showed here 18 0 0.18 times 100 will give us 18 percent that is the least that can dissolve here but because of i first dissolved it in water which is supposed to dissolve in water first because here we did not make use of any water here, which we know that iodine can dissolve in water, but not that good in dissolving. That means that some of the iodine dissolved in water, and some of them dissolved in the potassium iodide. That means that the increase in solubility of that uh, iodine was because of the potassium iodide. Okay, now let's remember that the volume of the 
solution A, that is the iodine used, is 43.2. And that of sulfate used was 25 centimeter cube. By ratio, we will have 25.00 all over 43.20. Behind this 25 is the Vn. 43.20 is this. That is the one we know. Now, the one we don't know, we are assuming that we are going to make this to be the 25 centimeter. We will go like this. Since this is the one we are now looking for, we make it as x. If this value is like this, therefore we make x the subject formula, we will have... So by this value, we will have approximately 14.5. So if, for instance, they ask us to do the other way around, the value will be lying between 14.5 to 13.5. But I don't believe they are going to ask us to use that. I still believe the previous one I did is what they are going to ask us to make use of. I wish you good luck and don't forget to comment, ask your questions on the comment, like, uh, click the notification uh, bell for further uh, videos. I uh, actually do videos on topics where I tweet topics one after the other, showing you how you can be able to answer it in exam. And uh, as you can see my screen, and I wish you uh, good luck in your exam.